Hi. So today we're going to talk about writer's block. Now, I have to be fairly upfront and say that I don't believe in writer's block, even though I have struggled to write for long periods of time. I mean, my last book came out three years ago, so you could argue that I have had a severe case of writer's block. But I don't consider it to be writer's block. I don't believe writer's block exists. Um, I may be pedantic, I may be splitting hairs here, uh, but I consider the, the condition to be more of uh, putting yourself in a situation where the brain is unable to uh, give you the creative thoughts that you need to be able to write. So, uh, for example, uh, I have epilepsy, I have depression, I have various other health conditions. Um, that is obviously not conducive for me in writing. Uh, so when I'm feeling sick, I can't write. Now, I don't call that writer's block. I just call that health problems. Um, if I'm working during the day, if I have other problems to think about, family issues to deal with, um, if I'm worrying about how to pay the bills, whatever. To me, again, that is going to have a negative impact on my writing. But it's not writer's block. It's just life. You know, so you've really got to analyse the situation very closely and you have to say to yourself, what is stopping me from writing? What are the various elements of my life right now which are stopping me from getting the words onto the page? Now, as I said, it could be health problems. It could be uh, day job problems. It could be money problems. It could be relationship problems. It could be anything. Um, I mean, during the winter, for example, um, when the clocks go back and it gets darker here at night, my depression takes a tumble. And so during the winter time and when it's really cold, I'm unproductive <laughs> completely. But that's not writer's block, that's health problems. So you've really got to analyse your environment and analyse your current problems and analyse what is currently refusing to move out of your head and out of your thoughts. And that is what is blocking the creative process. That's what's blocking you from writing your book. Um, I think it's very convenient, for, you know, to be able, for people to say, oh, well, you know, it's, it's writer's block, you know, as if it's the writing that's the problem. It's not the writing that's the problem. It's your brain that's the problem. And the brain is influenced, obviously, by external factors. So it's just what's going on in your life. So I've, I've often found that if you, I deal with the other stuff and make it better, then the creativity very quickly comes back. Um, I also meditate a lot and meditation for me helps a lot to get my my thought processes in order um i take long baths you know many writers famous writers in the past as well have all said you know that baths are the one thing that uh got their brains working again and helped them get to the next stage in the book so you know you'd be in good company if you had a bath uh, go for a walk. Fresh air always clears the brain. Always. But these are really all short-term solutions. What you should be, as I say, doing is looking at the root of the problem. Looking at what's stopping the words. Whether, as I say, it's the day job, your health, the bills, problems with the wife or the husband, whatever. These are the deeper issues that are causing the long-term problems that you might like to refer to as writer's block. 
And these are the things that you need to deal with if you're going to get past this slump and continue being productive and prolific. Okay? So that's what you have to do, in my opinion.